Hey guys and welcome to my latest video. Now this video is a drugstore haul for you guys. You may notice that I am in a different location. I'm actually in Jersey which is in the Channel Islands near to the UK. Well it's in the UK actually I think. And so everything looks a little bit different behind me but I'm really loving it. I actually really want to stay here. But I'm just here for a little holiday and I thought I'd do some filming while I'm here. So I'm going to show you my drugstore haul because I got a few little goodies and I really want to share them with you guys. So the first thing is actually for my hair and since I've gone darker and obviously in between washes I do tend to use sometimes if I'm going out to like I don't know something where I need my hair to be looking really really nice and I just feel like it looks a little bit bleh, then I use a little bit of dry shampoo but because I've gone darker obviously the dry shampoo is a lot lighter than my hair and it ends up looking like some chalky dandruff mess and that's not a good look. So I actually picked up this, which is by my fave brand for dry shampoo, and it's Batiste. And this is their dark and deep brown, like a hint of colour style. And this is really exciting because they do them in sort of blonde, and they also have obviously this darker colour, and then obviously they've got their normal range as well. But this is just to kind of spruce up your hair in between washes. So all you do is lift up your roots, and then you spray a little bit, and then you massage it into your hair and then it kind of revives your hair. It's not gonna totally clean it, like you can't live on this stuff, but it just makes it look really nice for in between washes. So I'm really excited, because hopefully I won't look like I've had some massive dandruff mess going on in my hair, and this will just blend into my hair color a lot better and look really nice. Okay, then for my brows, obviously because I've again gone darker, I'm really conscious about how dark my brows are and I really want something that's because I used to use this Bobbi Brown powder for like especially for blondes and so it's actually called blonde and I used to pop it on with a little angled brush but I feel like recently it's just been a little bit too light for my for my now hair colour. So I picked up this by Barry M and this is their brow kit shape and define. It only comes in one colour so you have in here, in fact it's so new I've got, I've still got the packaging on. Wait, let me, let me quickly rip it off for you guys. There we go, it's like Christmas. So in here, this is so cute, you have everything that you need. So you have tweezers, obviously to shape the brow. Then you have this like cream, and that goes on first. So you put that on with, and it actually tells you on the back. Yeah, so you, it's like a wax, sorry. And you pop that on with the slanted edge of this brush that comes in the pack as well. And so you just pop that all over. Then you use the flat edge of the brush, which is like um, another end. And you use the powder in the middle to then build up the colour. And that should then just stick to the wax. And then you can obviously build it up and up and up. And I just love it. And then it's got a little like mirror in the back as well so you can see. And then you can also highlight as well using this kind of end one. I just really like it. I think, you know when you're on the move and you want something really simple, everything is in this. You don't need any other tools. You don't need to faff around carrying massive tweezers and stuff like that. This is all in one place and it means that then you can kind of touch it up. So I'm really excited about using this and I would definitely know how you, let you guys know how I get on with it. So that's really exciting. Then for my lips, I want something that I can wear sort of during the day as a really like natural sort of look. Something that's not too glossy, not too bam, you know, I want something quite subtle. So I've um, heard a lot about this actually, and this is by Rimmel, and it's their Colour Rush range. So this one doesn't actually appear to have a colour, which is really quite annoying, but it just seems to be a really natural sort of brownie almost colour. And I've heard really exciting things about this. The, there are a lot of kind of products like this on the market, but I just thought I'd go with Rimmel, because I really like them as a brand, they're really cool. And it's basically like a balm that you just pop over the top, it's got a hint of colour in it, and it's meant to be quite long, long lasting so I'm definitely going to be using that I've got a few holidays planned so it's just something simple for when I'm out and about I can't be bothered to be touching up my you know my lips all the time my lipstick and that sort of thing you just want something quite subtle so that will be great for me I'm very excited then on my nails I'm trying to get a little bit more daring with my colours and obviously we're kind of moving away from summer now which is really sad but we're going into sort of autumn, winter, here in the UK we are anyway. So you guys know how much I love Jelly High Shine by Barry M and I just love their colour ranges so so much. So I thought I'd try a couple of different colours, now at the moment I've got like a really light blue by them on my hand 
and so I thought I'd go a little bit darker so I've got a dark, slightly darker blue because I actually really like blue I really really like it especially with a tan it looks really nice and obviously I've got blue eyes you know obviously they're really far away but still it's obviously going to bring out my eye colour and so these are my um, obviously Jelly High Shine and this one is in number 429 and it's Damson so really really cute colour and then I've also got this colour here which is in 432 and it's Passion Fruit and that one is more of like I'd say like a reddy kind of pinky reddy kind of colour so both of those are a little bit different for me but as I say I've been getting into my blues more so I definitely just wanted something a little bit darker to take me through to the autumn winter and then you know who doesn't love a little bit of craziness going on on their fingers so I thought I'd just try this because it's a little bit of a different colour for me so I'm definitely going to give those a go I love Jelly High Shine because it also it gives you the effect of wearing gel nails but actually you're not and I feel like you almost don't need a top coat with them they're not streaky oh I'm in love with them so I'm going to give those ones a go as well and then finally for my eyes I got this range and this is actually by Bourgeois and it is their colour edition 24 hour range I think that's what it's called uh, it's the cream to powder texture eyeshadows and I actually got three different colours which I'm super excited about now first of all heard about these through my sister she actually got some and I tried it and I was like wow I really like that because I've tried creams before and I haven't really got on that well with them I just find them really difficult to work with and quite hard to budge and blend in so I've got these and they're three different colours uh, I kind of pretty much bought the whole range. So one of them, this one is kind of like quite a dark purpley plummy sort of colour. I'm trying to get more into that for like the evenings. But it's got a lot of sparkle in there and hints of brown so that's really cool. Then I've got this one which is more of like a golden I'd say sort of colour, goldeny bronzy kind of colour. And it's really shimmery as well. And then also this one which is like a silvery kind of colour. So this one as well is just super, super nice. I actually don't know if they have, oh yeah, there's 01, probably 01, 02 and 03. So there's like, oh, I can't say the names. Okay, so 01 is Marvel, Marvel d'Argent. I'm trying to be French here, it's not working. So that's the kind of silvery one. Then the 02 is Or Désir. Oh, I'm probably saying this all wrong. And then I actually, this one doesn't have a label on, uh, but it's the plummy kind of colour. There's honestly only three colours in this, so you can't go wrong. And I bought them all. And basically when you put these on, you kind of use your finger. You can use brushes as well if you want to, but it's just as easy just to use your finger. And if you use your ring finger, so this finger here, then it has the least pressure. So that's really good for your eyes. So you don't want to like stab yourself in the eye when you're putting these on but you just dab it on and they actually go from a cream consistency into like a powder on the eye it's so cool and that is it that is the end of my drugstore haul I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have found anything really exciting in drugstores and I haven't picked it up then please let me know below because I really love hearing from you guys and also what do you think I'm going to love the best out of this and what do you want to see me try in a video let me know below because I really really as I say love hearing from you guys in the meantime please remember to give this video a massive thumbs up for me and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and I will see you guys in my next video in a few days time bye and by the end of the day you end up with this like panda look going on and you end up like looking like you should be in a zoo rather than on the street so this one for me didn't actually do that which is amazeballs because most of the